55 laps to go. We're back under green. Here you see Jeremy Mayfield back there. About 12th or 13th spot on the racetrack. Losing the lead to Casey Kane. On the outside. And here comes Jimmy Johnson in as well. Jeremy Mayfield. Oh, trouble in Blaney. Starts. Michael Waltrip and Blaney got together. There goes Blaney into the wall. There goes everybody. Yeah, Brian Newman's in it. Greg Bimple. 48 car. Half the field, it looks like. And the ninth caution of the day will be huge. 40, 41, 31, 0. When the leader restarts in the middle of the pack, this is frequently the result. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, I would almost bet you that this, something like this might have happened. And Tony Stewart, a lot of those cars, Michael Waltrip, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Matt Kenseth, they will be back on the lead lap. Looks like every car has driven away except for Greg Biffle, Jimmy Johnson, and Dave Blaney. Johnson had a car that might have won it. And Mayfield, who was the leader, is now wrecked. And of that group, I feel worse for Blaney, who in a part-time ride for Bill Davis was having the best race of his year. Well, you got to feel sorry for Jeremy. He, yep. he got boxed, and he couldn't go, and that's what the, that got him in a position where he got in that wreck. I don't know how much damage he has. The problem is it's rained here for a day and a half, and he's stuck in the mud down there. The dirt is so soft there. The ground is so soft. That front valence, Larry, must be all torn up, too. It doesn't look too bad, but look at the back end. That looks like a car that could finish the race if they could just get it out of the mud. Rusty's got damage on his car. 97's got damage on his. Is Ricky Rudd. Zero does. Or Burton. Rusty's got quite a bit of front damage. Of course, the pits is closed, so they can't come in and work on them right now. And the field is being held in the front straightaway. Here's what happened. Oh, it's three. They're just three wide down through there. And Blaney's trying to give the guy on the inside of room, and he got into Michael. There you see Greg Biffle Boy, gets to the back of Jimmy Johnson. Did you see Johnson. the nine car shoot through there? Hard to believe. Wow, I can't believe he made it. Matt Kenseth got through. Ward Burton stopped with minimal damage. Mark Martin stopped. What's... See, they go three wide, and Blaney tries to move over to give... Uh, the 22 car, some room, and him and he and Michael come together. Daryl, I wouldn't want to be at the team meeting Monday at Bill Davis Racing because it was Scott Wimmer who trying to come up the track to get an entry into turn three caused Blaney to swerve to the right. Here they come down Watch the back, this. and they get three wide. I don't know. And I'm mistaken. Wimmer stayed low on yeah, the bottom no, of the racetrack, out of harm's way. My mistake. It's just uh, too many cars going in the same spot. Jeremy Mayfield, the 19, finally gets out of that mud over there. He's coming down pit road right now. So we see Ryan Newman in the 12 as we're riding with Greg Biffle right here. Let's ride with Rusty. A bunch of guys do. They get hit from behind. A 42 gets turned. He gets into the 97. He 48. gets into the 19, into the 2, into the 40, into the 43. Jeff Burton, the 99, just skimmed by. 12 into the inside fence. Jimmy Johnson's fiance looking on as a race that he might have won. He's trying to crank the thing up. And that car has still not moved from between turns two and...